all states that have ratified the UN Convention on the Rights of the Child have an obligation to make all rights in the Convention a reality for all children. Quality public investment in children is necessary to realize children's rights. Evidence also shows that investing in children results in future generations of citizens who are healthier, better educated, and more productive, and who contribute to sustainable development. In a new general comment, the UN Committee on the Rights of the Child provides guidance to states on how to invest public resources to realize all children's rights. The committee makes it clear that states must prioritize children in their budgets. To achieve this, the four general principles of the Convention should be at the center of states' decisions on investment in children. States must not discriminate against any child through their resource mobilization, budget allocation, or spending of public funds. The best interest of the child should be a primary consideration in the budgetary process at all times. The right of children to life, survival and development should be a cornerstone of the budget cycle of any state. States must ensure that children can participate in budget decisions, including by allocating the necessary resources for their participation. Did you know that during the process of drafting the general comment, 2,700 children from around the world provided their opinions on how, when, and where to invest to make their rights a reality? Decisions on public budgeting and spending for children at national and subnational levels should also be guided by effectiveness, efficiency, equity, transparency, and sustainability. The four general principles of the Convention and these standards of public budgeting should inform the four stages of the public budgeting processes. 1. Planning 2. Enactment 3. Implementation and 4. Monitoring Let's talk a bit more about each of these public budgeting standards. Effectiveness States should ensure that budgets are planned, implemented, and monitored through a results-based approach to achieve concrete progress. Chile is a good example of this. Since 1993, Chile monitors the performance of public institutions, utilizing the concept of results-based budgeting. This comprehensive evaluation analyzes the efficiency and efficacy of public spending, including spending on children and adolescents. Efficiency. Public resources should be managed to ensure maximum value on investment. States must prevent wasting of resources due to inefficiency and combat corrupt practices. In Peru and Honduras, for example, the categorization of public spending allows for more precise allocation, accounting, and monitoring of public spending on children. Equity. This involves making decisions on public budgeting and spending with the aim to contribute to greater equality in the enjoyment of the rights of children, especially for those children that are most excluded. In Ecuador, a greater share of municipal resources is allocated to the most deprived groups, including children, and local authorities on equality conduct research on the socio-economic conditions of the population to help inform public investments. Transparency. This refers to the right of adults and children to access timely and user-friendly budget information. Access to public information is necessary for the meaningful participation of civil society in budget processes. 
Uruguay is a country that has established several national and local mechanisms for citizen participation in monitoring public resources, as is the case with reporting of the national budget, the participatory local budgets, and the country's open government initiative. Sustainability. Public budgeting should take the best interest of present and future generations of children into account to ensure sustainability of policies and programs affecting children, including in times of economic slowdown. Peru approved a law that declares the implementation of a National Plan of Action for Children and Adolescents of 2012 to 2020 of national interest and preferential priority for budget allocation. This reflects a high level of interest in ensuring sustainability for the policies and programs that affect children. The general comment will also help states to deliver on commitments to children included in the UN Human Rights Council resolution towards better investment in the rights of the child and in the sustainable development goals. In addition to being a legal obligation under the Convention on the Rights of the Child, public investment in children is an important contribution to the sustainable development of any country. What will your country do to make this commitment a reality for children?